Good morning everybody and this is your S&P uh, day trade setups for today. So yesterday we ended up with this range bar and uh, nothing really that excites me for anything, uh, either a continuation of the downside or a bounce to the upside. So I have a sneaky suspicion we'll probably end up with another range bar today uh, and probably a very small one at that. Okay, so the key level, there are a few key levels here. So I just want to highlight where we're getting them from. You can see there's my inside tails there. Okay, and you can see it was rejected here as well. And uh, this one here is of this previous swing high here. And you can see we did kind of find support there, but we did break below it. So that also tells me there's a possibility we come down to the bottom here. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Uh, I just want to highlight the weekly at the moment. You know, weekly is bullish, but this weekly setup is not that bullish. So that could be a double uh, double top bring, but we obviously need to break below the swing low here for that to transpire. Okay, um, and then we've also got a little bit of, uh, well not a little bit, quite a bit of weekly support, a little bit lower, and that's at 32.11. Okay, anyway, just keep that picture in your mind. Uh, we are... Now we are trending up, but definitely could be moving into a, a much bigger range at the moment. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens at the close of next week. Anyway, let's get down to levels that we're interested in, and that's a 3R. So we had some good results come through, which drove the market up, and then um, after the market closed, and uh, our FANG stocks released their results, uh, which weren't too bad. Uh, there's just you know some statements that they made, and uh, that put some of the market into a bit of a tailspin and they immediately sold some of those stocks off. Anyway, um, the net story of that is a big down, big up, a big down, big confusion. So I think this trend line, uh, this triangle that we've got drawn is probably uh, going to hold. Um, if it doesn't hold, I would expect us to find some support at 32.39 or alternatively 32.11 and to form a bigger range. So trend is down, but I think the important thing to understand about this trend is it's gone parabolic. In other words, it's just got steeper and steeper and steeper um, as time has gone on. Okay, so you can see first trend line, second trend line, third trend line, you can see how it's going parabolic. And we have broken above this last trend line and now we're hovering on it at the moment. Okay. So if we just get down to the hour, you'll see that a little bit clearer. Uh, that trend line can just be tidied up a bit. There we go. There you go. Okay, so that's kind of the situation at the moment. So the fact that we've broken this trend line and we're now sort of going into a range, I suspect we're just going to be ranging anyway, to be honest. Um, so let's get rid of this noise. Uh, I really suspect we're going to be ranging now, and uh, you probably find that that's the kind of range we're going to get into. If we do break above this, then I expect us to go a little bit higher. Uh, if we do break below, then obviously we're looking for levels to get onto. And the first one is going to be this here, which is 32 city. But if you just look at the 8 hour, look at the tail to downside, tail to the upside, that is confusion. So pretty much going to be sitting on the sidelines. Uh, there's nothing that I've seen in the charts at the moment that's uh, exciting me. I think there's a lot of sideways price action at the moment. And if we get even get to the 15 minute, I mean, look at this uh, inside bar, massive engulfing bar on the 15. Good structure for a, a long. Uh, but what I don't like about this kind of stuff is that's a 230 point bar. So one 15 minute bar moves 0.7 percent, which is just insane. I mean, that's just that's just the highlight of volatility. We're really hard, and uh, you think everybody would have been thinking that's it. We got a bottom here, and then immediately um, sells off after hours with uh, with low volume. So you know. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to say, at the moment this is sideways. I'm staying out of it. Okay, 
So watch these levels. If you are going to trade the downside, be very cautious. Keep those tight. Those tops are really tight. Find a find a decent level for a stop area and, and keep stick to it. And uh, take your profit early because uh, I suspect you're going to get big bounces off these levels at the moment. Um, there's going to be a lot of value hunters at the moment. Um, so just pay attention to that. Any break to the upside, I'm also not bothering change, uh, chasing that to the long side. Uh, I want to wait for for Tuesday. Once Tuesday's over, the elections are done, then we'll get back onto the markets and we'll take it from there. But for now, I'm sitting on, ha on my hands and uh, just going to watch this uh, this puppet show. Anyway, hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.